Even more groundbreaking research happening here in Atlanta, this time helping us get deeper into space. A Georgia State University professor just got a grant to develop techniques to see very faint objects in space, sometimes as small as a laptop. Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose talked with the professors working on this new groundbreaking technology. Each of these things here actually perturbs the light, uh, so it distorts the light. Dr. Stuart Jeffries and his team have positioned different mirrors, cameras, and lenses in this Georgia State University lab to mimic the Earth's turbulent atmosphere when looking at small and faint objects up in space. Many satellites now are the size of a laptop or smaller, and when they're hundreds of thousands of kilometers away, they're not sending much light back to us, and so they're very difficult to see. The Georgia State University Professor of Physics and Astronomy was recently awarded $5 million by the U.S. Air Force to develop techniques to detect, map, and image objects that are extremely difficult to see beyond the Earth's atmosphere. We want to uh, understand the health of our assets, but we also want to understand what other people's assets might have in mind for our assets. Dr. Jeffries says the United States has many assets up in space, as do many other countries, making the area very congested. To strengthen our national security, he says we must know what all of the objects around us are and the intent of other man-made objects that are not our own. Why are they there? What are they looking at? What are they capable of? Dr. Jeffries and his team also hope to develop a telescope larger than any other, with capabilities no other telescope has. I think we're going to get some pretty interesting results out of this, hopefully like change the paradigm of how we do astronomy. Graduate research student Daniel Johns is grateful to be working on a project with far-reaching impacts, unlocking parts of the universe we've never seen before and making a difference in people's lives. It's cool to be able to do something that will impact a whole bunch of people down the road. It's nice to like put your stamp on that right at the very beginning. In downtown Atlanta, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.